What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Mexican Empire. So to run off from last time, we captured Santo Domingo, opening up a shipyard for me and meaning I can add a, I can build a much more reliable fishing port in Mexico to stop the food problems and also to build a happiness to allow me to build a happiness building to offset the impact of my school. And we also have a great army and a strong navy getting prepared to be sent over to Portuguese shores. So this army is going to do their first hop over to San Juan. And the army is embarked. Perfect. Don't want to do something stupid like that. It's a good army. Well, do you know what I would act? Mm. So, well, that's a lot of cavalry for a siege battle, and it's lots of not necessarily strong cavalry either. So, what I may do is merge some units of of like of like experienced infantry together. I think I'm going to want to maybe swap out some Fusileros. Well, no, I'm definitely going to swap out the two Lanceros. But do I. So I can merge you. I would like. I would feel a lot more comfortable with a bit more line infantry. I can't hop over there this turn anyway. I can do a bit of swapping around and then send them over without impacting it. My problem. My um, plans a great deal. But yes, hop over, attack Portugal. Well, land my army off the Portuguese coast, probably about down here. Move up and attack Lisbon, and then maybe fight some naval battles trying to fend off these Portuguese stacks. Because I can't imagine they'll take this line down. Cool, but I think, because I've not got much money in my... Well, I haven't got any money. Um, let's... Oh, you've gone up there to take the gar to garrison uh, Texas to make them just a teensy bit happier. Maybe. <laughs> they'll get happier the more I get... The more the more... Uh, well, they'll get, ha they'll, they'll get happier once they chill out about the fact I've invaded them. Cool, right, let's hit end turn. Oh, it's my gentleman coming all the way back after my failed stealing tech experiment. I don't really think I can... I don't know what it is. It must be the academic in me because I really don't like it when it says, oh, you've lost reputation. I'm like, no, I'm a professional person. I don't like it when I lose reputation. Or you damage your reputation. So I am going to I am just going to have inherently more interests in Europe now once I have Spain. But once I knock out Spain, um I will then um be able to sweep up this sweep up Florida. That's a big one. And knock out Trinidad and Tobago and solidify my position. But it may eventually I'm going to come up to the un un the awkward position of having to declare war on a major power. Which I don't think I've got the economy to do. Not at the minute. My natural ally should be France. Well, no, it's not France anymore, because they're a republic. My natural ally is probably Austria. Because we're both... I think Austria is... Is, Aust is Austria an absolute monarchy? I don't know, I have to check that. They're a large major nation who practice Catholicism. There is unused land suitable for farming in Good, but first. So let's fix this commercial port. Let's get this sloop. To disembark troops. Get him back in the port. So let's first let's disembark the army. Let's 
take my lancers out. And let's take out a unit of Fusileros. And get ready to uh, get these troops in. To be honest, maybe swap them there. I was going to say swap them there, but the Hussars and lots of Fusiliers there. But let's build a. So, how are you doing for exports? We've not hit capacity problems yet, so let's try hit capacity problems. There we go, major infrastructure spending in Hispaniola. And Cuba's. Oh, I can still upgrade Cuban farmland. Cool, but not Cuba's. Uh, management, but they will get to like me even more as things as things relax. Cool, everything's growing nicely. I'm just going to check. I've got everything. Ooh, is that Texas? It is Texas. If I tax you, you will just about deal with it with six hundred dollars. No, I want to. No, I was, so. Ah. I was about to say, I don't have to worry about making sure you grow as quickly as possible, because now Mex New Mexico is going to have um, more ports, so more stable growth to, uh, to allow Velhamosa to expand. Good. Oh, let's upgrade that. Mega yield farm. It's all got to help, hasn't it? And Santa Domingo's wealth is going to explode. I'm about to get puddling furnaces, which is excellent. Then after that, I might have to go for Wealth of Nations. 30% bonus to growth in trade route income. Plus 8 per town wealth, plus 6% wealth generated by all buildings. It's pretty good. But what might be the catalyst is if I declare on... Well, if I declare on Spain, if Spain... If France declares on me with America, which they will... I've got to position my troops well, so it'd be nice to, if I've got an army in Spain, I can hit America right from a, uh, from the get-go. I'd probably have to have some sort of army in Texas to move into Louisiana, then have some sort of army um, near my colonial possessions to bounce around the um, their, their, uh, the, the islands in the Caribbean, and further solidify my hold in the Caribbean. But to do that, I need to have, or I would like, naval superiority to send out more ships to more trade theatres, control more nodes. That's my, my ultimate aim, is to build a, a naval empire with Mexico. Trouble is, though, if you try to build a naval empire by attacking and killing everyone, people stop wanting to trade with you, and then you all kind of... Everything starts to shrink a bit. Sort of... Ooh sort of like uh, what go, what, how things are seen in Iran. So Sweden killed the Hanoverian fleet to blockade Bristol themselves. Not yet been Brilliant. So let's get you... You're embark. Good. Right. Let's embark the army. Let's get you to the trade theatre off to Europe. Let's get this guy in this port to pick up these fragments. We may as well take them back here for now. Okay, well, let's upgrade the shipyard. Because right now I have no way of producing military ships, or at least good ones, not even fifth rates. Good, good, good. Let's get a cloth mill. Okay, military academy still is not a major concern. Upgrading ports can't help, I suppose. Very poor, prosperous. So prosperous port gets me plus 700 wealth, plus 5 per town wealth. Oh, so it's just... Yeah, prosper, prosperous port is not as much of an advantage as I thought it would be. But as this is on a trade route, then you will get it. Sweden is indifferent. Why don't we trade? Pay offer. 
No, I'm not giving up any territory. America's unfriendly, that's expected. Press trade, and I'm going to pay. Offer 2,000. What oh, Savoy? Trade with Portugal for obvious, obvious reasons. Mm. Let's see if I can. Let's go see if I can just try get hold of some uh, trade with the Barbary states. Yes. Not buying much of me, I agree. So I'm trading with the Ottomans and the Marathas, they're the best ones usually. Can't trade with Britain. Oh, I am trading with Britain, sorry. I'm not going to give up New Granada. Maybe next turn, though. Maybe next turn they might. Um, if I pay them, I might get a piece, I might get a trade. They'd be a lovely little balance to strike, I think. See, they've got just an army on their ships. But right now, see, I've expanded and I've got some territories. But I still feel quite vulnerable. If I had the money, I'd like to give lots of my major towns walls and offer some sort of garrison, but it's not happening. Yep. Want to invade Portugal. Knock out Spain. And see how it see how things go. See how things go. Because that the opening or well, the potential way to to go then is to go down, take Morocco and spread across North Africa. That can be a way to go. But they're all still they're still quite poor. The regions are still quite poor. So I've got to go hard down the Enlightenment tracks. Got to go hard down the alignment tracks to get the uh, the economic growth in all of my regions, and go hard on the industry, particularly the metal working ones, the mining. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building far Okay, palatial estates. How are you doing, Santa Fe? Towns are not growing because of lack of food. Well, I can't help that. Same with Spain. Town watch. Good. They're about to get a nice little boost. Because of farming. Well, first, let's do. The fleet has arrived. So their field of control is that. Up to that peninsula. Their field of control is there. So I should, in theory, be able to do this. Look at a big old garrison. That. Declare war. Don't bother calling allies because I have none. My army is ashore. And then let's pillage the trade route. Don't necessarily engage them off the bat. Send them to attack. Four. Oh, right. Trade agreement cancelled with the Ottomans. I don't want to pay you 14 grand. Three. Good. Um, did, did you stop a trade region? Okay, no, I'm not going to pay you that. 
I'm going to offer you two. No. You've insulted me. Prussia, Prussia, Prussia. Open. Request peace. Request trade agreement. And how about three grand as a bit of a sweetener? Nope. Not giving away any territory. <laughs> they want nine and a half grand or New Mexico. How about neither? Let's create that farm. So yeah, I could really, to be honest, I could really do with steam engine tech. So I'm going Wealth of Nations, I'm going to get machine tools, and then get steam steam engines. That's what we really need. Or, Great Britain, open, technology, nope. Marathas. France. Why have they, they've all got the same tech? That's weird. I think it's bugged out. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all researching the same tech. Why do people always want my stuff? Request peace, request trade. S see, they all want... They all want New Granada, Bogota. Grant is very wealthy. It's giving me 4,510. Grant 2410. It's going to get even faster. Medain is growing. Good. Let's get them ready to disembark. Actually, what, get, oh, what I mean is get ready to embark them. No, wait, can they even train? Can they even replenish it when they're embarked? Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe they can. I don't know. How are you, Cube? Are you exporting, exporting more? You're exporting everything you've got. Another port, I suppose. And then let's upgrade the, uh, anywhere else that makes more money. Can I upgrade your capital? Nope. Fine, Texas, you can have it. Okay. In turn. Let's see what the uh, Portuguese response is. Let's see if they attack my fleet. And that can't be... Oh, phew. Good. I'm glad they're doing that. I'm glad they're just, they're just taking their army around to get them uh, used to uh, being on ships. The implication of that is they're going to take them somewhere, and I hope it's not near me. This is quite tense. If I capture Lisbon, I will be very secure in Europe. Because Portugal will be gone. I'll knock down the university. Just keep them on my side as quickly as, for as quickly as possible. Probably build a happiness building to try flip it even more. I've got a, they're already math, massively Catholic, so if they've got a church, I can knock that down. Well they do have one, I can see it right there. They've not attacked my ships. Which is good to know. The Ottomans are going to be the Ottomans. Ah, there we go. Right, guys, I think got a fight. 
I think I'm going to fight this naval battle um, because they've got quite a lot of ships and I think it might be fun. And I could, and I'm going to preface this right now, I could massively bugger it up. Um, could it could well could well bugger it up, um, but I think I think it'd be good to fight because at worst I damage all their ships. At best I might win. So let's do it. With my usual plan, I will lose ships. Um, I've just got to hope that they lose theirs faster than I lose mine. Let's pick my ground fleet. So it's a good job I did. Oh, I was going to say it's a good job I did bring a fleet with me, but to be honest, if I brought a little one, then it would have been a simple matter of just ignoring it and just letting it be sank. But, you know. I need to get better at naval battles. And if I want to have a naval empire, then I need to get better at it. The unit review panel contains Enough of your noise. And they've gone double line abreast, which is nice, and they're sailing into the wind. So let's speed up time. I'm not going to bother with doing round shot to uh, to stop them unless they're offering a particularly good broadside to me. In which case then I will, but I think my plan... What I might do actually is do this. Put their fourths on the far side of all these fifths. So I can knock out some of their weaker ships. So I get the advantage in numbers so I can start to swarm because right now they will act as quite useful blockers. Granted, they will soak up my fire, but they will stop their force from firing at targets as easily as they would like. Which has got to be a good thing. Because then I will be firing... And I will be firing a um, round shot. Although, to be honest, I might have to loop to the right so they don't cut me in half. Yeah, I'll just cross the T. I'll just steer a little bit more this way. So right now they'll be head on, but then again they might. If they do a loop round, they they can try and attempt to match me, and also gain the advantage of wind, which is if they try that, that's okay. And I think they probably will. What it also nicely means is that fourth rate is going to be soaking up the first shots of every single one of my ships rather than that sixth rate. So as soon as they make first contact... Fire as she bears, Flunder the Second, formerly of the Austrian Navy. So as they creep closer, I may switch to... I wonder how far out is... Yeah, chain shot's way out of the question. Throwing their bow chasers. He's probably going to engage um, Neptuno. Or maybe um, Santa Clara. Firing extreme long range onto that fourth rate. I don't think I'm going to get to fire off a nice broadside with this guy, so just let him fire at will. This guy, however, will, as will you, as will you. Maybe at the extreme of the range, but I'll still take a broadside. Let's 
to get you in a position to see they are gonna yeah they are gonna try and swoop around this direction swoop um, they're gonna go around that direction so fire extreme range Took many casualties, but casualties nonetheless. God, it is a big, big fleet action. That's why I've got to prepare to lose um, my early ships. To be honest, broadsides are a bit of a waste if they're at extreme range. London's taking a bit of a hanger of a hammering. Lots of fire onto low onto Flunder. If I can get him round to the rear, things would be a lot better. He's a very tempting target for pretty much every ship. Well, he will be the first target for every ship. Doing lots of hits into my sails, which isn't good. might be in a position to fire chain shot as one of his next the last shots into San Cristobal another broadside in not a broadside, but another shot. My concern also now, looking back at it, if I was smart, it feels like um, <laughs> their light ships have soaked up a lot of their fire that I would have preferred to have gone and hit the heavy ships with. So it might have been better to do it the other way around. Flunder is sinking. No, he's on fire, actually. At least they're now in a position to open fire onto the enemy fleet without any fear of response. Nope, let's get you back to round shot. pick on some of these smaller ships, that would be ideal. Oh, this, this fifth's been dismasted by round shot.
which means once they start getting them, once they start falling, then it should. Can only start going against the weather gauge, unfortunately, which will slow me right down. But at least it will, keep, it will keep, still keep ships in my firing line. We've got one routing, which is excellent news. Oh, it's wavering, it's on fire, so hopefully it may explode. You should be very concerned about being attacked from astern, there's lots of them. So there's a bit of mayhem at the back of their line, back of their ship line, which is good. Um, the fourths are a bit more tricky. I need to get some advantage firing now while I can. Could do with one of these exploding, really, by some miracle hits, but I've managed to get... Oh, I've got these into a nice little... Nice little position actually here. Their maneuverability is gone. Could really lots of my fourths and fifths have got good angles to target ships and right now they've got good firing points on a lot of the majority of their fleet and because I'm going into the wind they've been slowed down so my ships oh there you go dismasted one to the rear and dismasted the uh, the lee ship that's very promising so I'm, a number of my ships are very damaged themselves so this isn't this is by no means me saying that you know haha we've got them on the ropes We've got the lead two ships on the ropes, um, which is a good start, and it'd be even better if we find out that this is a ship that has an admiral on board. Admiral on board. To be honest, let's drop anchor, and just because all of these ships can fire without any risk of return fire, so. Should be Santa Amara should probably will probably not last very long, and hopefully this is the general's flagship. All of their fire on this first ship should. No, I might keep on moving. Keep ships passing into a uh, different ship's field of fire. E albeit slowly. I said hopefully this is the uh, Admiral ship. That would be nice if it was. Flander is starting to flounder, her aren't I witty. It's to be expected. It's very, very damaged. Is the ship sinking? No, it's not sinking. But it should definitely be in trouble. No, 
no, no, no, no, no. Okay. So I've been a dummy and uh, done some silly little thing with my ships. Keep firing round shot. Come on, fire a lovely broadside of round shot into those lovely sails. suicide run as they've got the weather and they've got a nice set of sails with them let's fire a load of chain shot into that nice into that lovely set of sails some shots into San, San Jose. starting to get around me. Well, that's, that's not my ship, that's only it's a Portuguese ship. Right, ship of the line is pretty much brand new. Ship on fire. Been dismasted. That ship is definitely sinking. Santa Clara, you're done. See, so notice how suit this the moment I buggered up the uh, my naval commands. Okay, what I might do. Let's 
be here with tactical withdrawal of the rest of my navy as much as possible. Get them the hell out of dodge. Don't know how well they're going to do. Fleeing. Um, need to try though. Try to recover as many of my ships as I can. Never actually withdrawn a fleet from. Never actually withdrawn a fleet before, so I'm interested to see what happens. So Flunder's definitely made it. As has Augustus. You maybe not so much. You might get caught. You could get caught. You could get caught. Let's flee. Anyway, as I'm fleeing, guys, and this is going to not be super fun for you guys to watch, I'm going to stop the recording here and bring you back when I have my sad defeat screen. Ready, guys, and we're back to my ship that's just my last ship. Decisive defeat. Indeed, it was decisive. Well, as much as their naval power is going to get smashed when I attack Lisbon. So much as they four ships out of a fleet of 14. And it's a silver lining because they're going to chase me down with their other fleet and finish me off. So let them. Oh, there's another fleet down there as well. So my army that's there is well and truly there now. There is nothing uh, I can do to recover them. So if I lose Lisbon, that army's done for. But if we take Lisbon, that's a really lot of that's a lot of ships in the West Atlantic to uh, just wipe off the map. The AI is doing some smart ship movement to make their ships to make their fleets whole again and more balanced. Ooh. Russian Navy had it on the, in the trade nodes. Interesting. But yeah, I sort of expect that to happen because I'm not very good at naval battles, but at the same time, it there is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Actually, Select the type of port if to construct. Everything went perfectly for me. You guys would probably find it quite boring as well. There we go. Solid growth of population due to ports. Austrians are raiding a trade route. Heroic death of my admiral. War between Sweden and Russia. Okay, so they've gone. He's gone and got. Advanced irrigation, so carry on with the seed planting, seed planting drills to reduce the cost of my last, uh, my next set of plant houses, um, warehouses and plantations I'm going to build. Supposed to may as well wait to build those as well to get a bit of a discount. My public servant has died, but which one? Ah, uh, still got lots of good ones. Cool. But it's payback time. Come here, Lisbon. We are going to fight these Portuguese swines to get them back for the defeat of our, of our navy in the Atlantic. But that's going to be the next part, guys. So, thanks for watching. Thank you for enduring that horrendous naval battle. And we'll see you in the next part where we get our revenge on the Portuguese forces.